Well, there we are, back for the League One Road to the Championship, and it's match day 27, so it's just 11 games left of the season. And tonight we take on Peterborough United down at the Manda Crookshank. And tonight's team, we can see we've got a few out on slight knocks, and uh, that's what we've changed the lineup slightly. So we've got Ollie Linnett starting up top today, and Tim Berridge on the left hand side with Leandro Brown replacing Lewis Smith. Luke Shaw has come back in and Alex Dean replaces Phil Smith in the in the central midfield position because Phil Smith also is one of the list on the list that's took a bit of a knock. Ivan Hodge is in the DM. So we've got Lee Farrington. Jack Duggan continues to partner Martin Evans in the uh, central defence and we've got Jeff Gregson on the left-back position. As we can see, we've got Kev Briggs on a... Uh, we're poor sold on last sold in it last time, so we're going to put... Sh oh, shall we put your balls or... Sh um... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sordin is. Uh, we'll put Jay, young Jacob Kilbride. Is he's, he's in the in the goal for us tonight? So without further ado, let's get to match day twenty-seven. Play Peterborough United down at the Manda Crookshank. Let's get straight down to the kickoff. Well, here we are at the Manda Crookshank for tonight's game against Peterborough United as Cobble Town will get the game on the way through Ellen in it and they're kicking left to right. And Rolly gets the game on the way in their black and white stripes and black shorts. And it's Jeff Gregson, Tim Berridge is uh, just chasing it down that turf channel. Where's Jeff Gregson with a ball over? But And it's Dean. He's got, oh, it's took a deflection and it's gone to O'Malley in the Peterborough goal. And tonight they are in their blue and white kit as their first choice. Now then, and Tim Berridge. Oh, he's took, took a nice snapshot there, but O'Malley collects comfortably at his feet. Oh, Van has gone straight to Butler. Peterborough United, there's Farrington to George Boyd. Oh, and a good punch by, the, by uh, Kilbride. Oh, and it's gone to Elsa. Oh, he's at the post, but follows up and tucks it into the empty net. Wow, what a what a what a start for Peterborough. They take the lead here at the MCS Stadium, and it's oh well, 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 well. Elsa, they can see a good punch out, boy, but Alex is. And he's given it away there, and it's also his first shot's hit the post, but it's gone kindly to them. And Jacob Kaplan out of position. 1 0 Peterborough United. So trying to get the ball in, but Shaw to Dean. Oh, oh and the headed by the defender, just, just averting it from Luke Shaw as Alex Dean will take this. How can he produce a delivery? It's near post. No, it's. Oh, and Daniel Brown oh and it's gone but this is it offside yes it's a key equaliser and Tim Berridge has gone to the well Tom Berridge in the, in the right place at the right time heads the ball into the empty net see the super corner by Alex Dean the under bound has a shot it's come off the defender and Tim Berridge is on him just to head it into the empty net so that's uh, all square Oh, what a fortuitous goal that was. You can see how Landry Brown had the shot. It's come off the Peterborough defender, but it's felt kindly for Tim Berridge. just gets his head to tap it straight into the empty net. One each. It's a bit lucky for Cole Villett there, but there's Butler to Reed. And it's to Jack Duggins. Also again. Oh, and it's turned. And that's the Peterborough in the lead again. So... Elsa gets his second of the game. Oh, and the defending there was average, if best. Oh dear, what a. Well, we just got back into the game, and you can see the ball come over from George Boyd, and he's chested it down. And, well, Martin Evans just couldn't get to him. 2 1 Peterborough, so. We had to hurry, but got the ball back to. Oh, Yanjo. Too short. To and it's to all in it Brown. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! What a shot from Leandro Brown. Hit it first time into the top corner. And it's 25 minutes gone. We've had four goals already. And Leandro Brown latching onto a good ball from all in it. 
I can see again Tim Berish playing Oli Luton and he's just played it to Leandro Brown and first time shot well, and it's, we're all square again and this there he's got Farrington now and it's Luke Shaw got in oh and it's and it's Brown to Dean he'll play it all the way to Jeff Gregson he's got Oli Linnett in the box he's got oh love it oh he's hit the post oh a drop lovely kindly for Oli Linnett from a super Greg Jeff Gregson cross from the left Tim Bage went to get it, missed it, come to Ollie, but it's just hit the outside of the post. Oh, he tried to find Ollie, but uh, there's Tim Berries now. And he'll find Jeff Gregson, he's such a potent threat on that. Oh, I saw, it's hit the post. Oh, Lou Shaw ghosting in between the defences, but his shot's just hit the, hit the post. And come out, well, well, well. Kilbride being chased down, but gets it out to the skipper Martin Evans and it's well he's playing one over to Linnett oh but O'Malley just out of his line and smothers the ball as we approach half time uh, well they'll have to catch the breath that's for sure the spectators have been in for a treat tonight well there's Canu and he's got the space on oh no he's not well played oh he's Jeff Gregson getting it away, but. And it's out town. Uh, there's the off time whistle. Cobble Town 2, Printable United 2. Berridge and Brown for Colville, and Elsa twice for Peterborough United. Well, welcome back to the second half as it's Cobble Town 2, Peterborough United 2. It's such an enthralling game, it's been end to end. And it's uh, probably 2-2 is probably the right score at the moment in time. But, oh, now he's giving it to Brown to Oli Linnett. And that's a good ball to Luke Shaw. And he's through. Oh, and he's tried to chip it. The keeper's made a brilliant save. Oh, Luke Shaw, what a super ball by Oli Linnett. Playing Luke in. He's just took it past the, the defender. He's tried to chip the keeper, but the keeper's made a super save. Just tipping it over the bar. And, and it's Alando Brown to Hodges. Can he get one through? Ooh, he's just wide. Oh, Arvin Hodges, he do not have many shots, but that was. Oh, Cobble making a couple of substitutions. Alando Brown comes off, and Tom McClinchy and Keith Osborne replaces Berridge. Well, all in it, it'll come off. You can see his number coming up, and Kyra Mitchell replaces him. Had a good game, Ollie. He's a good holding up player. Not scored tonight, but. He does lay a lot of stuff off, and that's his trait. McClinchy was in the open now, Elsa. He's been the danger man all day for Peterborough. And it's George Boy. That's oh, and oh, and it's oh, what a mix up. What a mix up in the defence by Colville, and Elsa grabs his hat trick. Oh, my, what a mix up between Jack Duggan and young Jacob Kilbride. That will do his confidence, any good, he's shushing the Colville crowd. No need for that, but, uh, well, that was an absolute disaster for Colville down on the defence. See George Boy's trying to, just flicking it through, Elsa's flicked it, gone, Jack Duggan's, well, he just played it into the, Jacob of Rod, tried to save it. Oh, God. I should imagine that was Jack Duggan's fault, to be honest with you. I mean, he should have just plucked it out of the ground, but he just played into the path of Elsa, who's made it 3 2, proved to be. Well, the Brown comes on for Tazdemir. Oh, in game, that's for sure. Is. And now, where's Mitchell? Now, then he's got Shaw. Come this time to McClinchy. McClinchy! And he's on McClinchy, slides it under the keeper and gives Colville Town the, the third goal in the 89th minute. A super little work and a super ball from Luke Shaw. And Tom McClinchy sliding in from that right hand side and just slid it under the keeper to make it three games, three goals each. See Luke Shaw just sliding McClinchy in. He's got the pace and he's just slid it under the keeper to make it 3 all. Well, now, and there's Mitchell, he's got away from the 
He's got players that... Oh, but that's a poor ball, boy. Cairo Mitchell. Oh, dear. No composure there, but this shall probably end all square on three all. And that is the... That is the state of play. Three, go three goals all. What a what a game. What an absolute action game. Jack Duggan. Well, he knows he made a mistake, but hey oh, that happens in football. Cobble three, Peterborough United three. Now also with the match ball. Well, match day 27 ends up uh, like this. We've got Cobble Town with a very, very entertaining game. Three got three game uh, three goal three all. Uh Gillingham have lost their uh, time to Wimbledon 1-0. One Wacom have lost 1-0 to Fleetwood. Uh, Portsmouth have drew 2-2 with Doncaster, Oxford United, nil Ipswich Town 4. Uh, so they get a drub in. Uh, Rochdale have dropped another point against Coventry. Sunderland have drew with MK Dons. Rotherham also drew 0-0. Nil -nil, so that may keep us just top on the top of the league. Uh, we've got Lincoln nil, Blackpool nil, another draw. And Bristol Rovers have been beaten 4-2 by Burton Albion. So let's have a look at the old league table. And yes, we're still we're two points clear of Rotherham at the moment. I, I thought we were about level on points, but we're two points clear. Three points clear of Rochdale, so no ch place changes there in the top three, four, five and six. Uh, Wimbledon have uh, gone up to uh, seventh. And if we look down at the relegation, we've got Gillingham, Bristol Rovers and Portsmouth occupying the relegation places. So let's have a quick look at the premiership. Now we can see Liverpool have maintained the top spot with, uh, with Manchester City and Chelsea and Arsenal there in the Champions League places. Manchester United and Tottenham uh, edging, trying to get into them places. Well, anyway, we look at the bottom and it's Norwich, but Norwich at the bottom. They're still on nine points, so they've lost 20 games out there, 27. So that's not looking good for Norwich City, who look like playing Championship football next year with Brighton of Albion as well. I think them two will be look like they're getting well cut, or, cut adrift. It's going to be the third place that's going to be up for grabs. From Burnley down, I think any one of them five can actually be relegated. So a look at the championship. And this is the league that we're trying to get into. And if you can see, Redham's are still on top with Fulham, Preston, North End, just two points behind now. So it's going to be very close for them top two positions. And Leeds United sneaking into four. Brentford five and Forest makes win up the... Uh, playoff places in six possession, but they're also on level points for Middleborough and Swansea. So look at the bottom. We can see Charlton Athletic and Luton. They look like they're getting cut adrift there. Ten points behind Cardiff who in twenty first. So again, a little similar to the Premiership, that looks like a similar sort of situation. With Stoke City, Cardiff City and probably Derby County. Probably could go up to thirty two Barnsley could be buying for that last spot to be relegated so if we look at the next episode which will be the leasing.com EFL trophy quarterfinals we take on second place in the league Rotherham United for a spot in this for the semi-final of the of the EFL trophy so join me for that one I'll put that one on as a single entity so we can't keep it separate from the league so good luck to us in that to that department so catch you next time thank you very much Hello, welcome back to the Sky Bet League One Road to the Championship with Covo Town. And today's match day 28. We can see we travel to Rochdale in one of the defining moments of the season because Rochdale in third position, a few points behind us. So it's a crucial game for them. That is absolutely for sure. So let's have a look at the lineup for today. And we can see we're more or less at full strength. We've got one or two people up for it, Dual Charles there, but I have kept them on the on the bench for a later stage. But we can see our lineup for today. Stevie Hines is in for Jeff Gregson. He's about the only uh, one of the regular first team who's out. And we've got Martin Evans, Andy Smith coming in for Keith Chamberlain, who got that heroic first goal against Rotherham in the quarter final of the AFL trophy against Rotherham. Well, we've got Ogis, Phil Smith and Luke Shaw out. Usually, usual starters for the in the midfield. And we've got Lewis Smith on the right, Keith Osborne on the left. And we've got Billy Key, who is one of the near second leading scorer in the league up to now. I'll have a look at that after this game. But anyway, we've got a very, very crucial game. And Adam Stevens has, not, has pointed out the importance of not losing. Well, anyway, let's get to, this, to the stadium and... Join Rochdale and Colville for match day 28. Here's the kickoff. So we are for Rochdale to get this important game for them on the way in their blue, all blue kit with a black stripe. And Colville today changed to their all white strip, kicking right to left. 
Well, you can't, you can't uh, emphasise the importance of the game for Rochdale. If they lose today, they put them uh, a few points behind Colville, who are in top space. Well, there's done. He's on the break. We know about Keith's pace. And he's going to play it out to Billy Key. He'll be waiting for his midfield to get forward. And there's Luke Shaw to Farrington. Got Lewis Smith going down the channel. And it's a good cross. Oh, and it's hit the ball. What a save. What a save by the keeper. A great ball by Lewis Smith. And great cross. Right on his left foot. Just got it over. And a great save by the keeper. Just shoving it onto the ball. But that's gone out for the corner kick to Colville. Oh, first one of the, of the day. It's just seven minutes. Phil Smith to take it. So... He produced one. It's a good ball out. Oh, and Keith Osborne cracking it from outside the box, but just gone wide. Don't find the pressure here on uh, Rochdale. And it's to Stevie Owens. Players in the box. Good ball over the top. And Billy Key, but oh, the shot was uh, blocked by this centre defender. Again, Colville threatening. Stevie Owens getting a good ball over and Lewis Smith winning the header just added it down to Billy had to take a touch but players on the left hand side there's Phil Smith now then oh and again Owens finds Osborne and it's Phil Smith and Luke Shaw has flipped it over but oh it's just too much on it and it's gone to the keeper work around or Phil Smith well played Oh, but, but uh, yes, it's Phil Smith pulled back. So that's a chance for Lou. Well, Colville has sent the big boys up for this one. So let's see if Phil can deliver one in a dangerous position. But it's come out to... Now Andy Smith has got to chase him back now. And Anderson has got a break on. But Andy Smith is quite quick. He's quite a quick centre-half. But uh, it's chucked him down there. Done. Oh, but... Uh, it's jostling with Luke Shaw, but here's Lund. Ah, uh, that's a good ball now. Andy Smith out on that right hand side. He's a little bit out of position, but oh, well, that's a dangerous goal. And now that was a dangerous. I hope there's a foul. Well, you can't, sometimes you can't see these uh, little hidden fouls. He's against Andy Smith. He must have caught the players who was crossing the ball, but now uh, players asking for a card, but no. Nope. Yeah, that's where it's costing. Okay, that's a free kick to Rochdale on a very dangerous position as Norton Davis will take this. Uh, it just needs a little dink in. Oh, and Dunn's an unmarked. Absolutely unmarked. And he's headed it into the Colville goal win off the post. And Rochdale take the lead, and that is what Rochdale needed. It was a super free kick, and there we see Martin Evans leaving his. Marker, why he was leaving him, I don't know, but Dunn has headed Rochdale into the lead, and that has got the that has got the crowd on their feet, and that's just what they wanted. There is one nil up against the league leaders, and that would be an absolutely defining moment in this. And it's Hodges, but it's a poor ball, and that's this time. Oh. Luke Shaw, and it's Hodges, he's seen Lewis Smith in pace, ah, Phil Smith, oh, what a goal, what a goal, what a shot, ah, Phil Smith has hit that plum, oh, my, keeper had no chance, didn't see it, it was in the net before he could actually react, so, Cobble Town have instantly got the equaliser through Phil Smith, what a goal, what a goal, Oh, we see some cracking goals in this season, but that one was one of the top draws. Lay off by Billy Key. Phil Smith just absolutely buried it. Keeper slapped the floor, but when you get beaten by a shot like that, you can only stand and applaud. Well, anyway, it's one each. And all square again, so Rochdale need to, as we move into the last minute of this pulsating's first half, it's been a 
intriguing game and then Lewis Smith is shaking Dawn but it's going to be a final corner kick for Rochdale in this in this first half so Lund will take it we've got the ball over the top oh dear slide oh Rathbone oh, we thought that was going to float in but a super corner by London lovely header by Rathbone but it's just gone floating wide so that's it's Absolutely, now then, Larry Smith, a good ball to have a, oh, have Colville got a, oh no, got to go out, uh, that's the half time whistle, Rochdale 1, Colville Town 1, done after 38 minutes, Rochdale, an absolute super goal by Phil Smith on 44. Oh, welcome back to this intriguing game between Colville Town and Rochdale, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, Ah now, here, oh, and it's, oh, now Phil Smith is, and it's, oh, Osborne, he's gone over the top for Miliki, oh, and it's just took off his feet, and that's down to Dooley, Dooley, ah, so now, now Matheson, on that right hand side, it's a good delivery, and it, Oh, off the line by Andy Smith. Oh my, that was a goal saving clearance. That's down to there's Ozzy. Now then Osborne. That's good ball to Oh and it's And it's chance for Billy Key! Oh but the keeper's made a save, but to fair play it was at a cute angle, but and Oh, and a bit of coming together there, and Keith Osborne could be in trouble. Oh, if the referee has seen that, oh, he's just, they just yanked him down. Ah, Keith Osborne gets, gets away with it. No yellow card, I can't believe it. A couple of solutions for Colville as Billy Key comes off. Cairo Mitchell coming off, Ozzy coming off, and Tim Berridge replacing him on that left-hand side. So. Plays to Rathburn to Williams. Oh, and Lewis Smith now. Lewis Smith, he can break. He's got players on the right-hand side. He's got Kyle Hermitcher running up the centre. Will he need any of them? Oh, and Luke Shaw, and the keeper saves. Oh, he got players all running all always and making it easy. He went for the Luke Shaw option, which was a good option, to be honest. Play it inside, good. Probably had to uh, control it a little before he could shoot, but Luke's... That the keeper has moved. Luke Shaw. And it's two. There's Farrington. But he's been. Oh, and Farrington. Wow, the low. <laughs> that is a foul. And that is a booking. They lost control, lost the ball. And I think Love was. Uh, he was away, but Lee Farrington was and having him going down. Well done. Get him. Well, that's a nasty foul on the ankle. That could, uh, that could cause quite an injury. Well, and it's Lund again. Ah, and Colville Town have got some defending to do in these last two minutes. Crowd roaring Rochdale on. They know how important it is to get a good result against Colville. As on Lund again. Oh, it's just... Oh, and Evans lets it out to low. Sure. Ah, now Cairo. But that should be the... That is the end. The final whistle. On his even, Rochdale won, Colville Town won. Probably the result will will be better for Colville rather than Rochdale. But it's, uh, in the end, it's a, a goal. It's a draw. But there they are, the results for match day 28. We can see our game against Rochdale. Rochdale in third place before today, and that's for these results. And it's uh, it's ended 1-1. Rochdale taking the lead, but a super goal by Phil Smith to equalise and the other results are Peterborough nil, Gillingham 2 so Gillingham the bottom club have won so are they making a bit of a revival we've got Wimbledon 4 Wickham nil, Fleetwood 2 Portsmouth 2 Doncaster's 1 Ipswich Town nil. and we've got MK Dons nil, Coventry City 1 so a nice win for Coventry that would be that would be an interesting to see where they are in the league Rotherham have beaten Sunderland 2 goals to nil after their midweek defeat against us in the trophy, um, Blackpool have drew 0-0 with Shrewsbury. Burton have lost again by four goals to Lincoln City and Bristol Rovers have beaten Oxford United 
nil nil so let's have a look at the league table you can see that colwell and rotherham are still at a neck and neck for top position rochdale have well they've gone three points now behind us so yes it's between us three for the two spots i think uh, blackpool have gone up to four hips to fifth hips fleetwood town have gone into six level on points with wimbledon and if we look down coventry have gone up to 13 so good old coventry and the bottom of three we can see gillingham give themselves a bit of glimmer of hope with the 22 points portsmouth and shrewsbury in the bottom three with Bristol rovers also on 29 points so after seeing the lead one uh, we can see the lead one standard we'll look at the premiership and the premiership uh, table you can see that there's no change this level on points with liverpool and manchester city goal difference just uh, separating those two chelsea have crept up with a within a point of them too so they've got a chance of winning the title um with arsenal so imagine United and tottenham fifth and sixth uh wolverhampton wanderers up in seventh so let's have a look at the bottom of three norwich city we know there they've won their second game of the season uh, but they're still a long way behind uh bournemouth to actually escape the bottom the drop anyway we've got uh, Dorrit, uh brighton sheffield united all occupying the bottom three positions a look at the we'll look at the championship and there's the championship this is what we're trying to get into and it's reading fulham uh in their top positions with preston north End also pressing to get into the top two positions but they're in the playoffs with brentford nottingham forest Leeds united dropping down two six so that's going to come down to the wire for the playoff positions and promotion so let's have a look at the bottom charlton athletic and luton are now on to point 22 points with stoke city now getting cut adrift them three are, are getting cut adrift from the team in 21st place who are derby county who are on 31 they're seven points behind so them three clubs have really really got a rally or they will be in the league division one next year so as you can see we're it's match day 29 and uh, that'll be Colville Town against uh, MK Dons and see if we can carry on for the road to the championship so everybody take care thank you very much for watching I'll see you later